Yes, I know. I know. Gosh dang it. I know. We're not that far along into the season. And I'm already talking about MVP candidates. But what other thrilling news did you want me to talk about in week five? That Juju Smith-Schuster did the Kamehameha as a touchdown celebration? Actually, that was kind of cool. I'm Hassan Khan from Time to Football, and here are your top five MVP candidates so far for the 2017 season. Number five, Drew Brees. The man just doesn't seem to get the credit that he deserves. Through four weeks, Brees has completed 69.1% of his passes, which is ranked fourth in the NFL. He's thrown for eight touchdowns and zero interceptions. Where the Saints would be without him is hard to think with that less than stellar defense. He probably only has a shot of winning the award or even being in the MVP discussion if the Saints make the postseason, which is unfair to him. Number four, Aaron Rodgers. Through three weeks, the Packers offense didn't look as special as before. In week four against the Bears, however, Rodgers solidified his spot in the MVP race with a four touchdown performance. In 2017, Rodgers has a passer rating of 100.7 and has led the Packers to a 3-1 record. He's also thrown 10 touchdowns, which is tied for first in the NFL with this man. Number 3, Tom Brady. Despite a 2-2 record and questions regarding the Patriots team as a whole, Brady in the offense has been a bright spot. With the aforementioned Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady is tied for first in the NFL with 10 passing touchdowns. He also leads the league in passing yards and has thrown zero picks. Father Time, yet again, cannot slow down the greatest of all time. Number 2, Kareem Hunt. Where the heck did he come from? Following Spencer Ware's season-ending injury, the rookie Hunt was given the horns to lead the Chiefs to victory. On his first carry in the NFL, it was a fumble. But man, he rebounded quickly. Hunt currently leads the league in rushing yards with 502. With six total touchdowns through four weeks, Kareem Hunt more than likely will be the Rookie of the Year if only the NFL wasn't so obsessed with quarterbacks. Ezekiel Elliott should have won Rookie of the Year last year, not Dak Prescott. Gosh dang it, why are they so obsessed with quarterbacks? It's probably going to be Deshaun Watson to win the award when it should be Hunt. Will Hunt win the MVP award as well? And number one, Todd Gurley. My oh my. Gurley is a surefire comeback player of the year. But exclude him from the Rams offense and that team could easily be sitting at 1-3. and three. Instead, they feel comfortable on top of the division with a 3 and one record, all thanks to TG3. Though Kareem Hunt has more total scrimmage yards with 659, Gurley's 596 rank him second. Yet, he does have 7 total touchdowns this year, one more than Hunt. The biggest reason why Gurley is a better candidate to win than Hunt is because the Rams wouldn't be where they are if it weren't for him, whereas the Chiefs more than likely are a winning team if you subtract Hunt from the equation. If you disagree with that argument, but you say that Aaron Rodgers deserved to be MVP over J.J. Watt's historic year in 2014, you, my friend, make no sense, you quarterback-loving gosh dang it baboon of a human being. I just don't get it. Why are people so obsessed with quarterback? Do you guys agree with this list? Who do you think should be the MVP this year? Let me know in the comments down below or hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, and the Twitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out timeoffootball.com for more NFL content.